Okay, hello everyone. It is the Midwest F1 League. Let me just make sure that we got it all good. Can you do a mic check there, Jacko? Mic check, mic check, testing one, two. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Okay. Division 2, Midwest F1 League, Jacko and Crash hosting on Twitch. As per usual, not per usual with Division 2. But uh, it seems to be the norm now that we're only in Suzuka, as this is our second time around in Suzuka with the staggered break weeks. So this is technically round eight for Division 2. Round eight for Division 1 was last week. And they got their break week tonight. And you see, we will see a couple of them in Division 2 helping out their lower division drivers. Uh, first being Random Series in McLaren. And second being uh, Fredhead in the Haas. Yes, yes. I got it. I got it. But anywho, yes, you can hear Jacko in the background, so all you know, I can I can tell you a little. You're you're excited, Jacko. We're getting back in Division Two, won't you? Won't you uh, give us your thoughts heading into this one? As well, say hi, say hi to the folks. Yes, hello everyone. We're back in Division Two. I think this is the second time we've commentated on Division Two this season. It was Bahrain initially when a uh, Fuzalim was uh, victorious. So uh, we'll see how it goes the second time around. Yeah, it's a. Uh... Now, the back half of our schedule here, we're all over the place. We don't have the same um, division that we're in for two weeks in a row, other than the final two races of the season, which is um, which will be actually a break in between those. So if we're, we're flopping all over the place in the back half of the schedule, or in the front half, we were uh, just mainly Division 1, and but yeah, back half of the schedule is going to be really fun for us going up and down between all, all three divisions. We actually, yeah, we go into Division 3 once, uh, that being in Silverstone. So looking forward to that one. But anywho, we're back around. Where's my audio here on the capture card? Uh, but here, won't you Sorry, I'll correct myself. I think it's Fuzale, by the way, not Fuzalim. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. That was a good race, and we'll see if we uh, see the same winner. We, we've got, we witnessed a lot of Alfa Romeo victories this season, although last week that wasn't the case in Division 1. And we have a really wide Alpine of Sefron City there. Crash. This is really very tough, I know, to predict, but surely we'll have a prediction for Pole and maybe for the race win. Um, I mean, it's got to be one of the... I, okay, we can't, we can't pick someone from from division one okay okay so i'll go i'll go nero next i'm taking not no, actually I'll go murph and sally murph and sally i gotta feel murph and sally okay so you're tossing up between the two top championship contenders that's a solid guess i'd say yeah i know uh, what, a, what a brilliant guess from me hey? <laughs> yeah so of course nero nick's the current championship leader for williams um and Murph and Sally, second place in Alpine. Yeah, I think I might agree with you and go for one of those gentlemen. And tough to say. I took Murph last time. I'll take Nero this time. Yes. Of it's... course, looking at the uh, past race winners in this division, we've got, um, yeah, across seven rounds, six different winners. So it's a, in stark contrast, shall we say, to Division 1. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, sorry. Keep going here. I'm trying to figure out that I don't hear any audio on the stream from the game. I'm not sure what's happening. Okay. All right. Well, let's have a quick look at who has won this season. The opener was won by Murph in Spain, followed by Giroud in Monaco. I don't think Giroud's with us tonight, but anyway, it was Tiger Nascar in Brazil, as we mentioned earlier, Fusale in Bahrain, then Nuri Nix, championship leader, won in Zandvoort. Followed by a second victory of the season for Murph and Sally in Hungary. And then last time out in Austria, it was Dace getting his first win of the season. So will we see a seventh different winner in the division by round eight? Or perhaps another win for Murph and Sally? Or even a second win for any of the gentlemen I just mentioned? Who knows? As we see Williams into the wall, that's a championship leader. Nero absolutely smashes the front wing off at Degna 1. So Degna 1 tripping up two people so far already in this session. He's not out. He will be able to reclaim his uh, wing in the pits. So uh, we'll have to watch out for that as Fusail sets the quickest time so far. Uh, quickly followed up by Murph, but Murph is almost a second down on mediums though. So we'll have to watch out for that. Random Sirius goes second. And Sephiron City, a distant, well, sorry, yes, a distant fifth. As Forza Hube also 
I've been to the front row for the time being. I'll have a quick look at the championship standings, although I know Crash will at some stage as well. Uh, I can pull that up for you right now. That would be a good idea. So looking at my screen, I was like, I can't see the stream at this point. Yeah. We've got Neo Nix in the lead with 410 points. I'm not sure if this was updated by the last round, but I'm hoping it was. He is pursued relatively closely by Murph and Sully, with Tiger Nazcar in close pursuit behind in third. Houdini, he's coming off consecutive championship victories in lower divisions, also for the same team of Ferrari, is also pretty close. Then we've got Detail and Hightower also within 100 points of the championship lead. So even the top six um, within a shout by this halfway distance race. Uh, moving over to the Constructors' Championship, it's a four-way race, kind of. Red Bull, Williams, Aston Martin and Alpine all enjoying a bit of a buffer over the rest of the pack. With uh, McLaren, a lowly last, unfortunately for them, much like a Division 1. So uh, McLaren really struggling this season. Not what you want to see. Anyway, we'll have a quick look back at the leaderboard and, wow, Fred Head on mediums has gone pole in the meantime. So, that is a Division 1 man enjoying his time here in Division 2. I don't think he actually managed to show up. Well, I don't, I don't want to say it like it's a negative, but he wasn't able to race uh, in Division 1's Suzuka race. So, uh, backing up for that uh, participation. We'll see if this is a victory for him in the making. Of course, he has won a Division 1 race. That was uh, last season in Singapore. Very impressive debut, I think that was, actually, at the time. Who else is on our lap? Let's have a look. Puff Digital, perhaps? No, that's an in-lap. Puff Digital, of course, in third at this point, with a pretty solid 30.0. Mm. Tiger Nazcar ripping around the last corner, although it looks like he's actually going to pull that up as well, into the pits. Might be the time for everyone to be entering the pits. Let's see what Ed Altonian does. Also at Casino Triangle, and also going relatively slow. No, he's actually on an outlap, I'd seen, and about to start his lap. Opens the DRS. Actually, no, he's got very low ERS. I imagine this is... What is this? It's on the medium. He's got 22% ERS to start a lap. I'm not sure what this gentleman's doing. Maybe he hasn't realised how low his ERS is. Anyway... Not sure if anyone else is even on a lap. Okay, Houdini is, and he's got charged battery. This makes sense. Through the first turn, he goes, not getting too wide. It can be very easy to invalidate yourself there. Now through the sweeping section, very tough not to spin. We've seen uh, all kinds of shenanigans happen here, including to the fabled Mystic Joker uh, in this sector. So uh, anything can happen, really. Up through Dunlop, gets uh, the right tyres on the kerb, not too unsettling. It seems like it was uh, not a problem for him, although he's wide at Degna 1. More problems at Degna 1. This is surprising. Not the most challenging corner, uh, in my opinion. But then again, who am I to say? I haven't been racing in F1 in uh, Midwest this season. So Houdini looks like he's pulled out of the lap. Currently in P9, just ahead of his teammate. Both Ferraris in the top 10. Let's move on to someone else. Yep, Aiden Thurman has pulled out of his lap at some point. Lots of cars in the pits or outlap. Here's Monkey Mafia, sporting the pink helmet, of course. This is now October, I believe, and he's uh, yeah, celebrating breast cancer awareness, I believe, with that helmet. And up into the top 10, he goes with mediums. So a relatively impressive lap there. He is the fourth driver on mediums currently. Neuronix coming around the middle sector. He's uh, replaced his front wing, so we'll see what the championship league can do. Currently, without a time in 14th, as are the rest of the field down to 19th. So uh, a lot of drivers get this at their time. Both Williams in there, in fact, so uh, hopefully they can sort that out. Vtex actually lost it. Where is he? Or is he in the pits? He's in the pits, retired. Not sure what's going on there. Anyway, let's have a look at Neuro Nix's split. 13-3. Top of my head, I couldn't tell you if that's not 
if that's on pace or not. I think it might be a little bit off. Watch him now go pole now that I've said that. Last turn. Hugs the right wall, as is the correct line on qualifying lap. Goes fourth with a 30.1. So, yeah, about half a second off. Fred Head, who's, uh, who's now coming out of the pits on softs. His best lap, I believe, was done on the medium. It's a very impressive gap to have when you're on the harder compound. But that's what happens. Division 1 is just that little bit above. And uh, this guy is not only Division 1 driver, but a top Division 1 driver. So has a bit of an advantage, let's say. All right, on board with Nicky, currently in 19th place without a lap time. Of course, an original Division 1 driver made it through three seasons in Division 1, only to get knocked down a rung at the end of last season, very sadly for most people watching, as Random Sirius takes his Division 1 McLaren to the top. We've got one McLaren at, this, at the top, one at the bottom, bookending the field. And uh, you got to say, that's pretty as expected, having the two Division 1 guys up top. Let's see what his teammate can do, though. Nicky through the final chicane. DRS is about to be open, hugs the wall. And up into ninth place. Not a bad effort at all. So our championship contenders are currently 5th, 7th, uh, and 11th. The top three, at least. So a bit lower than we probably would have expected. Uh, Murph blows by Nicky there. Puff Digital also has retired uh, at some point, which is uh, unfortunate for him. That looks like to be around Spoon or get on board to the half that's approaching him, which must be Fredhead. Ah, but the wreckage has already disappeared. Sorry about that, we could not see it. Well, actually, I couldn't see it because Murph um, just crashes the one who's broadcasting. You wouldn't have seen it anyway. Sorry, who's that? Did you see Puff Digital's crash? No, I didn't, unfortunately. Okay. I'm scratching my head. You're doing great, though. Well done. Well done. <laughs> All right, across the line comes Fred Head. A 28-8. Absolute ripping lap. That's uh, a clear advantage of around six tenths, or six and a half tenths, even. This man is on a mission. What was Paul last week? That's got to be at least close. Uh, let's have a look. This might take me a while to figure out. So excuse the bit of a lull here. That still doesn't work. Okay, so Matt Rosie was on pole in Division 1 last week with a 128.903. This man, Fredhead, has just gone a 28.815, quicker by almost a tenth in Division 2. So, of course, this is a Division 1 driver, so it makes quite a sense. But had he shown up last week, this man might have been on pole. So, uh, some serious pace here from Fredhead. The past man looking in good shape. To potentially bounce back with a victory. Alright, I'll go back to the current stream now. So once again, we're in a bit of a lull where a lot of cars are in the pits, but Merck and Sully looks to have just started his lap. So we shall jump on board with the Alpine driver. Seventh place currently, 30.1. So uh, about 1.3 off pole. Nicely threading it through the first sector, very mellifluously, if I may say so. Through Dunlop, a bit of a lift. 
might have been necessary though. No, flying towards Degna one, no issues for him. Although there are issues for someone, there's some yellow flags. Might just be for a, someone letting someone else through though. Not too much of a concern. Now into the hairpin. Many lines available here. He takes the one that I usually take. Just through the middle there, not too much strain turning. It's going off too much speed. But also not too wide. Now approaching Spoon, which some people take way too wide. Can end up being ladle. He's actually fine. Get over the curb there. As we lose Crash. Crash? Okay. What? <laughs> All right. So through 130R comes the Arpine into the final chicane, you know, triangle. This is the second apex that may be a little bit costly. Actually, he does into the pits. Yeah, he realizes maybe he had the split actually. Or he, he, <laughs> he would have known before I did that that lap probably wasn't necessary. Let's see, is there anyone else on the lap? No, we've got some out laps, we've got some um, laps that have been called off. Maybe Tiger Nazgar here, hard to tell. Yeah, I think he's in the lap. Okay, so it's a diverse sector for the Red Bull driver. Very wide to Dunlop, although it didn't lose, lose like, look like he lost a lot of time. And he's actually up on his own time through sector one. The Egners went quite well, under the bridge he goes. Loses the rear a little bit, but catches it in style. I don't know, that looked a bit deep through the hairpin, but I think you can get away with that. Now flying towards Spoon once again. Bit of car letting us through. Very nice footing behaviour there from the Alfa Romeo. Oh, he almost invalidated that. He must, okay, he did invalidate. Very aggressive line there from Spoon. Alright, let's move on. High Tower. Currently 11th. Out of that lap. New Nick's now retires. Is that on track? I don't see it. Must be in the pits. Crash, you need an invite. Um, I need this to work. Just, uh, yeah, okay, I'll take one now. So Houdini now is in the top 10, perhaps not exactly what he was after, at the bottom of the top 10, but in the top 10 is not great, because obviously you have to start on those tyres, unless of course it's a wet race, which we have not been informed of the forecast, so uh, that's entirely possible, as Adal Tonian jumped up to the P4 with a nice lap there, 29.8, what else have we got going on here, we've got some yellow flags, I think that's just slow moving choke before their lap. Monkey Mafia, perhaps. Yes, it is. He's about to start his lap. Actually, no, he goes with an improvement there up into 16th place. It's oh. actually pretty close in the midfield. I did it. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Took way too long. As Random Series is now done, although he's in the pits. Whoa, a bit of a spin there for the Monkey Muff. Disastrous. It wasn't uh, an Aston Martin, but Monkey had gotten out of the way in the meantime. Oh. Well, just at the end of qualifying here. Redhead is. 0.014 down on his previous best. Can he improve on this last turn? No. But it's still an incredible lap. That's uh, 6 tenths clear of second place. Fuseo. Detail's not on a lap. Altonian's not on a lap. Murph may be on a lap here, although he is not up by the first sector split. We'll see the second sector split now. Sorry, who is that? Up by Murphy, sorry. Okay. He's up by one hundredth of a second. 
which might be enough to challenge Forza Hube if he has a nice last couple of corners here. Even Nero Nix for P8, which would be key. Those are the two championship combatants. Does not hug the wall, but still goes up to seventh. Could be key. Anyone else here? Perhaps? No, I think everyone's done. Alright, so perhaps Crash and I should have predicted an Alfa Romeo, given that we uh, usually watch Alfa Romeo victories. Mm. And yeah, it's Fuzale, who is uh, up top of the Division 2 drivers. We've got Fredhead and Random, the Division 1 drivers, in first and third. So, uh, yeah, I think Fuzale should be happy with that. It's essentially a pole in his division. Tiger NASCAR are doing well there as well in P4. Then Championship Combatants are a bit further down. Here we go, it's Fredhead on pole with Fuzel alongside him in the Alfa Romeo. Ferrari powered front row. Then it's Random Series, Tiger Nascar, Detail, A Daltonian, Murphy Sully, Puff Digital, New Nix, and Forza Hube rounding out the top 10. Uh, Forza Hube actually on mediums there, we should note that. So we're starting on those tyres. Then we've got Houdini just outside the top 10 on fresh tyres with Nicky alongside him. Then it's Hightower, Saffron, Mopower Cowboy, Chief Braids, Monkey Mafia, VTech. Subtle but whole in 19th. No 20th driver this week. Okay, well done, Jacko. Great qualifying, solo effort from you. I gotta, I applaud you for that. Thank you for, for taking the reins there. But I got it figured out, and uh, yeah, we're uh, we're well on our way here for our second go around here in Japan. That was a little bit stressful, not going to lie, but I got it done in the end. I, uh, you know what? A good old restart gets the job done from time to time, and I'm happy that it was that that case today. Uh. All right, so what else have we learned? We've seen... Uh, okay, so there's only one team that's got one car for the two this week, and that's Alpha Tauri. That may come in handy for Puff Digital if there's safety cars and no stacking, of course. Um, in the chat, we can see Pork saying that there's major issues in Division 3. So not just issues for Crash, but complete lobby issues for Division 3. And they are about half an hour behind schedule. That's a bit of stuff. Midwest is uh, on the ropes and uh, knees are buckling early on here. But uh, there's there's still Hopefully plenty. that irons itself out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully so. I, I mean. I'm looking at my screen now and I see all the cars bouncing on the main street. Yeah, I see that as well. Like that's it, that's not just a little bit of bouncing. That's a lot of bouncing. You know, you know the saying like mid-season form. Like ah, don't worry about, don't worry about how you play at the beginning of the year. It's how you're kind of playing in the middle of the year. Yeah, well. I love that the marshals are looking away from the cars as well. Like I don't want to see this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Midwest is mid-season form is uh, not apparent right now. That's for sure. It's uh, it, <laughs> we're still not even close to mid-season, I guess. But uh, it, you know what happens. No, this is midway point for this one. Eight out of sixteen, right? Yeah, I know, but or mid-season. You know, you know the saying mid-season form, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're we're in mid-season, but our form is absolute garbage. Well, we'll see how the other divisions go, but Division Two and Division Three are uh, are a little bit behind here. Yeah, got some intel there about Division Four. It says uh, Jonathan Dunk is fast AF. So uh, I'm <laughs> imagining he has pole. Poor, uh, <laughs> poor, poor Division Four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got st um, is stat down there? I believe so. Okay. Yeah, we've got two two Aussies then in that case because uh, HSV is making his debut tonight in uh, oh. Thursday. Oh, that's fun. Um, of course, he may be familiar to some viewers from F2 a couple of seasons ago, where he had, I believe, two victories. So, uh, not the slouch, but he hasn't done any F1 racing in quite a while, as opposed to F2. Was that... Oh, God, pork chop says full wet race. See you in two hours. <laughs> oh, my. Those poor souls. How are you going, Crash? Um, does he just not play F1, or does he just not play F1, or, like, the F1 cars with us? Uh, he wasn't playing F1 with us because of his, uh, his work schedule. Uh, uh, but he's managed to find some changes. Ah, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, I see, he's on the waiting list. 
I don't think we're going to go to a Division 7 now. I think everyone on that waiting list is actually on a waiting list now. It's not just like, oh, just wait a month or two. They're going to add another division. I think it's actually a waiting list now. Well, I mean, he might get a reserve slot every now and then. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for yeah, sure. That. That's that's what I say for people that are joining. Um, just, I mean, always always put your name up for reserve. 120 people aren't going to check in every day, every night. Like, I mean, even at this stage, we had um, Chucky Corgi pull out, and he could be in here for the 20th position if there wasn't a spot already for him. Yeah. Exactly that. So. We need that pot of like last minute pull ups who are on the game ready to go at five five to the race time, you know? Yeah, I'd, for sure. I, I agree. It would, it just, I'd feel bad for those that wouldn't be able to jump in though. Yeah, true. But I know it would be, it would be nice. There's actually, Division 6 is actually kind of fast. Yeah, Division 6 is like actually decently fast. I don't know if you caught what I was saying earlier, but Fredhead beat. Division one poll time from last week. Oh, did he? Yeah, by just under a tenth. Oh, okay, nice. Well done, Fredhead. And he actually didn't race last week, did he? Correct. Oh. Okay. All right. So let's have a look at the tyres. As I mentioned, it's the top nine on softs with tenth, Forza Hube on mediums. But then we've got mediums behind him for the next four positions. Two soft drivers on the fresh ones in fifteenth and seventeenth. They are no power and monkey so they're looking to make moves early on as we saw last week no hearts no hearts no hearts everyone's learnt that lesson apparently <laughs> yeah yeah if you watched last week's stream um, and for those that didn't um, yeah, they might just be knowledgeable of this track but yeah we'll see how they for those who didn't uh, Crash and I observed all th I think it was three or four drivers who put hards on within a lap of them putting them on and at that point, they were facing the wrong way. Yeah. Hards is uh, not the tire to be here. I feel like I've asked this before, but as I proved by not having any audio for 16 minutes, um, do they do they do the C1, C2, C3s, or do they are the all the tire compounds the same in this game? Like, or because you know the Pirelli range goes from C1 to C5. Yeah, yeah I think they do the all the way to C5 because. I think that pre-race screen, oh, you don't see it because you're always a commentator, but there's a pre-race screen that tells you the selection of tires you've got. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. I just don't know. <laughs> I don't play enough of the... You've I never actually... seen a weather forecast. Oh, God. That's so funny. <laughs> All I do is just, I just talk about the used, game. <laughs> you know, people who drive, they just automatically you know, think everyone knows, but of yeah. course, being a commentator, you won't see everything we see. So, uh, yeah, yeah there, there is a, an indication of that. Not that anyone pays attention. Well, yeah, through a year and a bit now, I've only actually raced in one proper league race that I crashed out on because pizza came. <laughs> All right, we're on the grid. The formation lap is over, and the lights are out. Looks like a good start for most drivers, including, of course, the pole sitter. We see and Brandon can send it around the outside here on Pretty fuse. clear, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, oh, oh. So drivers out wide. Detail that was, pick uh, up a spots. Beside his Mercedes teammate Murfitzelli dropping down for his UAV overtaking his teammate. Detail now dropping down to ninth as we come through the S curves. We've got wheel to wheel racing all the way throughout. Everyone's staying fairly clean, and as I say that, Saffron City goes off, but not that far off. He still has his wing intact and takes out the board um, out of frustration, we can say. Fred had already got a second and a half on Fusail. Ouch. Off digital with a great run there, overtaking Adeltonian between Degna 2 and the hairpin. As Adeltonian sort of shuffled out wide, and now Forza Hube makes up his fourth position already on mediums. What a legendary performance so far. In fact, the Mercedes have gone up four and down four, respectively. Oh, Adeltonian tried to send around the outside of Spoon, cost himself another position potentially here if Murph can pull off that inside maneuver. Although Adeltonian had Oh, he's got more space and he's also making a bit of a squeeze. Now they're both squeezing each other towards 130R. I'd be very scared if I was either of these guys and Murph pulls out being a championship contender. I'd say that's pretty wise. Yeah, now with, uh, with a tight track comes lots of steward reports and that's what the stewards were dealing with last week. Uh, we'll see if the D2 guys learn a little bit from how tight this track can be at times. 
Uh, Mercantelli yeah. and Adel Tony. Smith, yeah. yeah, up the inside line here. Uh, Ron Ward with detail. Uh, Adel Tony gives him the space. Murph actually backed out for a second, saw the space open, and now he's going to continue to battle this one out through turn three now. Gets the car fully ahead, and Detail's got a really good line through the S-curves and actually gets slowed up quite a bit from the battle in front. As yeah, Murph Murph's Sully racing takes like he, he's um, being very cautious, which is absolutely the right approach for a championship contender, but sometimes that slows you down a bit. And he turned in very late, and I thought he might be at risk of... Um, making a bit of a spinning sort of error there but he, he didn't so he must have a pretty stable rear to be able to take that line through there which is a good sign obviously and i think some of these guys may have watched division one stream last week on their homework because uh not so many issues so far no not so many at all fredhead i'm looking at already two nearly two and a half seconds Sephron city once again spinning out this time around the hairpin of turn 11. So Nicky has made his way into the top ten as well. We love to see that from the original man uh, in season one. Yep. Up two positions from his previous grid slot on fresh mediums. He's got Nero Nick's right up his clacker though. Holy hell! True. <laughs> Don't want to get much closer through 130R. True OG is Nicky. He's under fire from Nero Nick's. Nero sending it down the inside line into the triangle, and he's going to get it coming out of turn 17. Swinging around turn 18. DRS is open this lap but not this straight so Nikki's gonna have to try and find somewhere else on track to get this move done and back up into the top 10 but that was a, that was a nice lunge from Nero Nix I'm not sure if you're on board with that exactly if there yeah I was if there was a DRS this lap it might have been very difficult to understand who should have got DRS then because the detection is right where that pass was made so uh, it would have been interesting to see who got it actually yeah very close. Uh, have a look for close battles. We've got Tiger Nazca relatively close to random series. So he's uh, second through to, let's say, sixth. sort of in a bit of a train there. But then we've got a bit a one second gap back to Murph. We'll be looking to catch back up after making it. Sorry, on uh, I'll turn in. He makes a pass on himself. That would be very impressive. I mean, if someone's got to overtake yourself, it might as well be yourself. <laughs> Here right. comes Chief Braid's blasting past Houdini. He must have got a poor exit out of the hairpin because uh, you don't often see a pass made between those two corners on just straight line speed. Oh, wide though for the second half. Oh, and, he comes back oh, across. Big clunk. <laughs> Ooh, how did he not really... Oh, Houdini's dropping down a little bit though. Like someone else. Oh, a bit of an unsafe redoing there. Sephron avoids him by... I don't know, a biggest dick is what I would say. Oh, Monkey Mafia getting a crazy attempt of maneuver around the outside there on Houdini and now actually sets himself up for a really poor run out of turn 18 and gets overtaken coming through the turn. Detail getting a Daltonian coming into turn one. We have four drivers extremely close here coming down the straight. Monkey Mafia just caught in behind Hightower as he lost the position. Oh, Monkey gets up on the curb oh, and drifts right through it. Oh, yeah. Good. What oh, a legendary my. maneuver. He completely caught that all the way through. He's going to be super happy that we caught that on yeah, stream. He needs to keep the, the temps down, though, through these next few corners. Perhaps just be a bit cautious, not to no. the spin again. Jacko, quickly say hi to Future Monkey, because he's definitely going to be watching that. So, hi, Future Monkey. Hey, nice you. save, dude. Yeah, hi, Future <laughs> Monkey. Well done. Oh, Tiger Nascar makes a move for third place. Yeah, and ooh, Random Series is going to come back at him with Tiger going deep, but going deep and get a good run coming yeah. out of the I mean, deep's kind of helpful at that corner. Yeah, it doesn't at all I wouldn't say it's as beneficial as that deep line through Zandvoort oh and there we go on VTech and VTech is out of the Grand Prix I was right on board with him Ooh. just a little too heavy on the throttle and there we go safety, safety car, car number deployed, one yeah. three safety so cars last week in the division four and a half second lead that Fred had, had yes yes worked really hard for that set a couple fastest laps on his way to that gap and uh, he's gonna have to do it all over again but yeah, like I said, four, mm. three safety Fred had there. Mm. Um, oh, into the pit actually. So we'll see. I wonder if he. Uh oh. Is this not a little bit of deja vu? I think we're seeing a lot of guys in the pits actually. So it shouldn't okay. be an issue. This early. Speeding in the pits like for random. Oh. Okay, Fred had. Yeah, this early because the, these the softs won't go that. No, I'm saying though for the hards. Okay, so we do see a hards from Fusalm. Harm from hards from Puff Digital. We did see this is what we saw from, from um, 
yeah, we saw hards in from, in uh, Bahrain from Fuzail, which was a winning strategy. So maybe um, maybe that's sort of his thing. But I don't know enough to uh, confirm that. We've got Haas bookending the field though, so no uh, worries about stacking there from those guys. Did anyone have to stack crash? Did you notice? Um, I don't believe so. No, I think I don't think no. there was any stacks. I think everyone got fairly lucky. So Fredhead has a car's buffer over Sephron who has not pitted over the rest of the pitting field, but he is in ninth place. Could yeah, be tough. The only potential stack actually is pretty much one driver from each team pitted except for the Alpha Romeo. But yeah, geez. but Monkey was already last of that group. So we'll see here. Okay, I'm going to bring up the driver's championship here so we can properly discuss it. Um, I think you kind of went on to it a little bit, but I didn't really get anything to say, if you don't mind there, Jacko. I don't mind at all. Okay, well, good to hear. Okay, so there we go. We got it up on your screen there, folks. Um, like I said, Jacko got a little bit of his uh, two cents in prior while I was banging my head against my keyboard trying to figure out why I had no audio. Um, but here we go. Nier Nick's in the lead. Now, I can't remember. I, I did actually more research about the past results uh, when we were in Bahrain than I did up to this point. Um, but I remember you going through the results a little bit. Do you remember? Um, do you remember a couple of Nero Nix's past results? I believe he's only had one victory despite being the championship leader, yeah. uh, which is always kind of impressive when you're that consistent to maintain a gap that big. Uh, I think it was. Let's have a quick look. To... Yeah, it was Zan Vought that was victorious in. I don't have anyone else's... Well, I have who that won the races, obviously, but I don't know who came second, third, etc. So, impressive in its own, really. Just kind of pure consistency, similar to what Pork Chops is doing down in Division 3, where he's got every every race this year, he's finished in the top 10, and I don't, I don't even think he has a podium yet, and I think he's fourth in the Drivers' Championship. It's, it's something crazy like that. Just consistency just is just kills. Um, but yeah, the kind of different to what we see in Division One. The two Aston Martins are there's both Aston Martins in the top ten. Um, where Division One, both Aston Martins are. I mean, not Jinnah to win it, but I mean, uh, Soy Loco's struggling, and then even Jin sometimes goes from time to time without any points. So uh, a different story here in Division Two. That's for sure. For the Aston Martin team of High Tower and Eddie Daltonian sitting sixth and seventh. Um, but Houdini, we got to shout out Houdini still in the hunt to get promoted. His uh, hunt for uh, three straight, was it three or four? I can't remember. I think it's, yeah, he's got two straight currently. Back okay. to back. Yeah, so his hunt for three straight uh, driver's championship, going Division 4, Division 3, and then attempting Division 2 is getting a little bit more difficult with each race. Finds himself sixth right now. Um, has not pitted, but he is on the medium, so he can go a little bit longer here, and a lot of the field behind him is on mediums, although uh, fresh mediums. Um, but, I mean, yeah, Murph and Selly and Tiger NASCAR are currently sitting in the other um, promotion spots. Detail uh, sitting just outside. Monkey Mafia in 8th, Nikki in ninth. There's still There's still potential for some uh, late-season surges, um, and maybe we can bring some good luck to a couple of these guys in the mid middle of the field. Um, I hear Nicky is on uh, wheel, so I think that's why he's been a little bit slower. But then he, what uh, I remember him to be, but he ha he has been getting quicker though. I have noticed that as well. So the safety car is coming in this lap. Um, but I mean, yeah, I, I can say for sure going from controller to wheel is a lot more. It can be a, a lot more of a, a learning period. But you do know a well, lot. It's not you know. quite as much as uh, going yeah. from controller or wheel to a, uh, a guitar hero controller. That could be quite difficult. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. Or. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. There's a bit of a strung out field here. Um, Houdini was kind of caught napping there by uh, the pack in front. Um, he has fallen. Let's see how far. Oops. Uh, Fred had sorry got a quick pass on subtle but hole right down the right down the straight near and next. Yeah, I mean Houdini's oh, almost. Nero, two Nero spun one. out. Sorry. Oh, championship leader bottles up Mo Power and a couple of other guys too. We're now being completely uh, threatened here by Houdini. Maybe it was a, a top 
top tier strategy there by Houdini to uh, not be involved in that. As here comes Fredhead charging through like an absolute raging bull. Although he's not a Red Bull, so that wasn't the best analogy. Uh, like a uh, KGB agent in the pass. Ooh, is Fredhead going to send it all the way around the outside? He's working on Houdini here. He's got the grip to do it. He gets a good run. Houdini does well, but yeah, I think you, I think the grip kind of won out there. Houdini just wow, he's put a lot of cars in between himself and the chasing pack on the same strategy. As Mopower gets a bit wide there through what must be ladled to him, as he's got front wing gaming. He's got uh, a left end plate missing. So I'm going to say that he may have collected, probably not cause, but collected um, his teammate, which is very unfortunate for Williams. Yeah, very much Hughes there. going a little bit deep through 130R, and then we got Forza Look Hume. at that pack. Oh my, around the outside here. And oh, Forza tries to force his way through on Sephiroth City. Contact was made. I don't see any damage on his wing. And more power in the pits. Bunch of drivers move up the grid. Who's that? High tower is extremely close to settlement holes. We have three drivers. Well, actually, way more than just three drivers. Uh, a bit, big, massive conga line running from 5th all the way down to 16th. Still very tight yeah. at, through the, after the first lot of lap. A lot of curves there from and he had to correct it. And here comes Forza Hube up the inside. Sephron actually goes onto the gravel. Um, around the outside, sails the Alfa Romeo Fusale. And now there's, yeah, here comes Tiger Nascar. So Sephron not having the greatest half lap here. Not at all. Oh, oh, we tried to come back in another drift. What oh, it's some wing you... damage from Pud. Oh my god. Yeah, and that was really nice. Subtle but holes also. Oh, what the? I didn't even see Subtle but Hole get any contact there, and he's out as or he spun out as well. Unfortunately, I think there was a lot of oh. avoiding action. What's to going on there. here? Oh, we got Houdini spun wow. around. We have big collision around turn oh, 11. No, Nero Nix gets caught again. Sephron tries to spin out and force a Juve oh. just weaves through three drivers as they're all entering back on track and now he's right back into a battle with Hightower. Yeah, Hightower going up onto the grass for his Juve getting through and is in 11th place after all that chaos. Oh my god. Oh, Houdini's lost the rear and a bit of a clunk there from Stefan who's oh, near. still getting hit. Here comes near. Oh man. Wow. It's all gone off, mate. <laughs> it what was that? It's it's completely <laughs> gone off the rails. Like, we had a couple of drivers in tumble dryer mode and just uh, completely spinning around at Degna 1. I think some of them were like trying to avoid the car in front by slamming on the brakes and it just completely pivoted their own car. Um, but yeah, that's crazy. So here we go, the difference of strategy now with Random Sirius and uh, Fuse. Um, Fuse Elm, Fuse, Fuse Elm. Um, Fred had so far up the road on Random Sirius. Random get, got a fairly easy pass on Fuse Elm on the hards as Random's working on these soft mediums and he's going to try and pull away. Tiger Nascar actually looking to get an overtake as well as these are some big points for him here in Suzuka. It's tough now. you got to settle yourself. There's absolute anarchy that just happened on lap 8. And you just kind of kind of get on with it really for a lot of these drivers here and just know that points are on the line. Especially for Houdini because... Um, He's sitting, like I said, just outside the the promotion. And uh, Tiger NASCAR is all the way up in seven, so quite a hill to climb, but points are points are points, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it looks like Detail has made a pretty good gap out of this. He sort of escaped at the front unscathed, and uh, he'll slot in a lot higher up than he probably would have if there wasn't that carnage last lap. It should be quite helpful because eight laps into his stint, nine laps now, socks. It's almost time to come in. Here comes Fred Head on Adel Tony. Down the inside of turn one. Ooh, takes a lot of curb. Very committed move there. That makes it work. And he's got three seconds up the road to find Detail. Still looking good for the victory for Fred Head. But Detail's put himself in the race for the podium, I'd say. This Fred Head is a guy that wants to finish this race like yesterday, it seems. The guy has... Yeah, he's probably had, like, chili or something, and he needs to go to the bathroom. He needs to finish ASAP. Yeah, he has zero patience for moves, even though he has all this time behind him. He just wants to get through and then on his jolly way. And <laughs> no one no one in front of him is going to stop him. He'll overtake at any stupid corner on track. And, I mean, he's got the win virtually locked up and can 
or I mean, as locked up as a win through 10 laps of 27 can be. And he's taking these crazy little risks. Or not crazy, but he's taking these little too big of risks for my liking. But I mean, hey, you don't teach their own. That's why I'm in the booth, Jacko. Because I'm slow. <laughs> I mean, there's no service you don't even to put the, the car on the track. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we've got three drivers in the top four yet to make a stop. Houdini also yet to make a stop, but he was, of course, caught up in a massive calamity. So, uh, detail Adaltonian and Nicky. Actually, we'll say that Adaltonian goes into the pits. Nicky up to P3. Nicky, of course, on mediums, will probably go the longest out of all these guys. We'll see where he ends up because he's in clean air right now. Could be very helpful by the time he puts on the uh, whatever tyre he decides to put on next. Tiger gets through Fusail. Now he's going to try and close that gap to Random Series up the road. Random with a five second penalty. So we'll have to see if that does anything for Random's race at the end. Right now that will move him down a position, but still many laps to go for Random to try and open up that gap. Tiger's already taken a half a second out of it, so Random must have made a little bit of a mistake somewhere. Oh boy. So as we're on lap 11, I'm reading the most recent comment, pork chop saying the race strategy is calling for a 62 minute race. <laughs> Sitting on the grid or maybe in the formation lap one here. Oh. Now that's going to be a while. Poor Division <laughs> 3. I'm actually supposed to go and hang out with one of the guys in Division 3 after this race. <laughs> so, oh boy. Yeah. I think I'm just going to drive over. I'm not going to call him. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just head over there. Walk in. I'll sit down. Crack a beer and watch the watch the last ten laps. You want to shout them out, or is that a privacy thing? Oh, oh no, no, dead text message. Yeah, uh, he's uh, been in the league for a couple of seasons now. He actually, oh, yeah, I'm aware too. Yeah, he got he got promoted through Division Four last season. Fredhead was getting really anxious with detail uh, coming through the turn section of 16 to 18, and then just. Decides to get it done cleanly Ooh. through turn one, and I saw that little bit of drifting. You don't want to step out there too often. Um, thankfully for him, he's still facing the correct direction. As Forza, who is the first man to make a second stop of the race. I wonder if there's damage involved there. Yeah, there is. New front wing for the Mercedes. Medium tyres go on. That is quite unfortunate. Chief Braids was able to get eighth. From the Monkey Mafia, but the Monkey Mafia is uh, gonna try and close him down. He is on the or the better tire compound, and Chief Braids is soft, so she, whoa, should start falling off a little bit. But a little bit of an oversteer snap from Monkey Mafia saves it. But now Chief Braids is working on cl opening that gap even more. I don't see any damage to Monkey Mafia. We'll see how Chief long. Braids, of course, was last by a long distance earlier in this race, and he now runs eighth position, albeit on softs, which. I assume he's going to need to make a second pit stop. But, uh, I mean, that's a hell of a recovery. I'm going to check the race directory quickly on... Uh, let's go. What did he start with? Chief Braids. Chief Braids did start with the medium, so he can actually put on another set of softs if he wants to get these to that point. But I guess, oh, he's seven... Could he's, be an interesting strategy. Yeah, he's seven laps deep. We'll see. He might be able to get there. So what's the detail going to do? He still remained out. He's done 12 laps. He's going to be at least 13 laps on these softs. Of course, there was a safety car period in there. So great tyre saving. We saw this as well from him earlier in the season. Immense tyre saving skills on this man. So, um, well, I mean, I assume he's going to go to mediums. That's the obvious choice. So Tiger is right behind Random Sirius now. Within half a second, as we swing our way through the S's, we'll jump right on board. And we'll see the difference of these two drivers' of the lines here. Looks yeah, like a random's a bit offline there, to be honest. I saw that. Tiger's kind of sizing him up here. It looks like it looked like a little bit of understeery from Random through a couple of those turns. I think perhaps it turned in a bit late on the, the first ones, and then it just sort of it follows you through the whole sector once you go offline once. And yeah. again, there we're digging it too. A bit of a push mid corner. As you might say if you're American, I don't know if you say that in Canada. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Alright, we've got yellow flags, what's Ooh, going on? Forza it's, Juve uh... with those fresh oh, mediums. No. Not what you want to see, has to wait for everyone to clear, and he's back on course. 
A Daltonian. Actually, A, A East sitting decently well here. We'll see how much these mediums fall off for a lot of the drivers ahead. Um, yeah, absolutely sitting pretty. He's going to be able to make moves on these guys with much fresher tyres. Currently in 11th, so uh, looking good to maybe move up to potentially like 8th sort of region, unless it's a safety car. Yeah, Settlebot Hold sits just ahead. Uh, we're coming through 130R here. Swinging around down into the heartbreak of turn 16. He's going by the way. Oh, oh his DRS was open. He made a massive flap. Who's that? Is that right Fredhead? Oh my god, Fredhead spun no. around turn two. What? Let's have a look at the front wing. Show me the damn front wing. Yeah, it must be damaged. Oh, He's yeah, it's gone. It is completely gone. There's next to no front wing left. Wow, this here comes just... Nikki. What's Nikki going to do here? This could be huge Blast for Nikki. Pass. So unfortunately, Nikki's. Ah oh, man! Wow. So you commentators cursed him. You said he had it wrapped up on lap ten. I also said he was driving too aggressive. <laughs> so, true. so I mean, I don't know if I commentators cursed or just called it. Uh, you're a wise man. You must have called it. Here yeah. comes Tiger Nascar and Random Serious. Will they get through without too much issue? I mean, there's a corner here. It's pretty tough to make a move. Fredhead yeah, gives the line, them. and we got two Random cars series, simultaneously yeah. spun out on turns three and five, both ah. picking themselves up right now. By tower in the Aston, and uh, let's see. Is it Nero? Nero's got no front wing behind him. Massive stuff happening here. Details in the pits. The race leader, Nero Nix, the championship leader, is without a front wing in last place, desperately in need of a safety car. Uh, it's gone horribly wrong for some drivers in oh the last my. lap or so. This is just over halfway through the race here, too. Just on lap 15 as Nikki gets us underway coming through turn 1 and 2. Still 13 full laps to go here. I mean, like, this is... <laughs> this is chaotic. A Daltonian is going to try Ooh, and work on the ninth place here. He's going to try and send it around the outside. Gets a big run into turn 1. And with those fresh mediums. Exited the pits there and got absolutely swooped around the outside by Monkey Mafia at turn one. That was very close. Uh, and probably key. If he'd have been out in front, he might have been able to make some pretty early inroads into the cars in front. But now he's stuck at least for a lap uh, behind Monkey Mafia. He's not by any means a slow driver, but obviously a much older type. So now where will this uh, bring Nikki out? I mean... You'd imagine it's going to be around where Fredhead is, but Fredhead's going to close that gap. Who is net lead? I mean, detail is... Well, it's Tiger Nazca, really. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I yeah. think Nikki will probably come out uh, around subtle but old. Uh, because, of course, he doesn't have to change his wing like Fredhead did. We can't count out um, Fusealm as well. A. Of course, he's on those hards and uh, not too far away. And but he's, I think he's an Alfa Romeo, yeah. so yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's the main thing. That's the main thing. So we'll see. Monkey Mafia is actually kind of secretly having himself a good race here as well. Kept his nose fairly clean. He's up in seventh. He should jump up another position with Nikki's pit. Um, and Chief Braid's probably gonna have to make a good stop too. We've yes. got yellow flags. What's going on here? Houdini. Path made a nice move there prior to one to um spoon there on Houdini. Was that? He didn't need recovering though, is that what happened? Um, it might be, he's losing the major time. I did see him get a snap of oversteer there. Um, he was able to catch it. Monkey Mafia is holding up the pack behind Detail and AE Daltonian. This might be good for AE if he can kind of poach that position from Detail. Give it the old Jacko swoop, where uh, the one driver is trying to get ahead of the next one, and while he's doing that, the the driver behind it just absolutely poaches that position, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen here. It does so. seem like a main maneuver. <laughs> yeah. Did not happen all right, at all. So. Detail just kind of squeezes his way through Monkey, and now he's going to open up. He's going to try and close that gap to Chief Braids. But yeah, sorry. You know, I ahead. think you're absolutely right, because the one driver on hards, the, the tire that we thought was possibly going to be the least helpful, is uh, Fuzail, and he's pounding these guys. Like, if there's no safety car, He's going to have the best tire condition right at the end of the race. He's very close. Random, of course, has a penalty, so he's net second already. Mm -hmm. As we take into account Nikki's pit stop, Tiger Nascar's got his uh, his hands full here with uh, Fuzel. 
Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, how much is uh, Ranov going to get his elbows out knowing he has that penalty as well as uh, this is in his division? So. I'd say he'll get his elbows out, but I don't know if it will matter. That's the only thing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, the, the quiet success story here is Murph, currently running fifth, of course, drivers ahead with things that may slow them down. He may uh, end up in third, and with New Nick's down in 18th, could be a massive championship in roads for him. You know we've given like half of the top 10, over half the top 10, like uh, quiet shout-outs and uh, we've secret, secretly good races, you know? They're yeah, I mean... They're quietly having a good race, as we say, of about half the top 10. I mean, I, it, 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 they're they're getting up there from the chaos that was uh, the second lap out of the safety car. So I mean, they're not just you're like, absolutely right. Yeah, they're not blazing through the field. They're just kind of they're just going out there and having their drive. Nice Thursday Thursday night drive. Or I mean, no one's in Australia, so it is Thursday. And if there's any um, bricks in here though. Uh, yeah, I was getting, I was I was just scoping through. through Friday morning. Yeah. Uh, let's have a quick look at Fredhead, who's blitzing his way up to the back of Mo Power. Um, probably going to see a move here made on the DRS straight in about half a lap's time. He's, more, he's just about a second back now, but his pace this man's been going. Who knows? Who knows? Hey, Daltonian's getting really close to Monkey Mafia here, uh, but not close enough for 130R. Let's off a little bit. Really low on ERS is AE. Uh, Monkey's got a lot more saved up. But AE showing some pretty dang good pace here. Let's see if he can get a good enough run out of turn 18. A detail, sorry, Chief Braids finally into the pit. The man who was at the back of the pack at one point has uh, worked his way up and is going to come up close to more power Cowboy. Down the inside is AE Daltonian on Monkey Mafia. And Monkey's battle is not done yet. As well. Subtle, but Hole's actually still yet to pit. Wow. He's running on 17 lap old mediums as well. Redhead blasts his way up into the top 10. Okay, so if your name is Nikki, when are you pitting for socks? Uh, now. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. To, yeah, to answer that question simply. Because uh, if he doesn't pit now, he's going to be overtaking my Fredhead on the undercut. Yeah. But the, the ferociousness that Fredhead's driving at, I, I don't know if that'll really matter. He's, he's kind of a I mean, if you come out on socks, you may stand a chance. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I I, 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 I agree with that shout, but it's just... He's been, he has been a step ahead. If it, that, that one's been... Oh, and what's this? A okay. step on, perhaps? Yeah. Oh... Subtle but hold actually on 17 lap old mediums is going to go down the inside through 130R on Monkey. Monkey, is he going to come back here? Takes a peek at the inside line but couldn't get the run. And Nikki, as as if he heard yeah, us, he, he must have had the stream open. Uh, I don't. Oh, Cheeky and man. Subtle but hold as well as into the pit now. He's going to throw on some meat, some softs. All right, let's see where Nikki comes out. Presumably right in front of Fredhead. Oh, detail with a three second penalty. That could be key. Mm, yes. Yes. Yeah. So out in eighth place is Nikki. He's got three seconds ahead to challenge Monkey Mafia. He should be on the back of that pack pretty soon, all the way up to detail perhaps. Uh, but then he's looking at maybe a top five here if all goes well. So these are. Uh, th this is an absolutely massive race for uh, Murph and Sully and Tiger NASCAR. Yeah, I mean, Murph and Sully is having a perhaps a very lonely and maybe even boring race, but mm -hmm. it's a massive race for his points and he needs to keep it up. Oh, Subtle But Hole leaves the session, that's unfortunate. Where is he running? 12th place. Just made a pit stop, so you imagine that's a disconnection, not a, a rage or anything. Yeah. Not, yeah. not that we suspect anyone ever of raging. Ignoring yellow flags. <laughs> and then, Ooh, his, then his bot goes and gets him a penalty as well. How rude! <laughs> That's ruthless. <laughs> What's a man got to do? Oh, Fuse has actually fallen back a little bit here. Murph and Sully in the pits. What? Maybe he was going too hard on those on those meetings. He realized he couldn't make it. Didn't we see Bails this? Out. 
Yeah. We saw this from someone last week, did we not? I don't know about this, man. This is not nice. Being a championship set. Yeah, and to Fredhead as well. Yeah, he should come out just behind Mo Power here in uh, tenth place. That's uh, I don't know. I'm gonna question that, man. I don't know about that. Yeah. Especially if all these other guys can make that work, because they all put it on the safety car. <laughs> Bacon saying oh, there's man. a fourth safety car. So yeah. Robert Hollows made another pit stop. Well, I mean, maybe his AI did it, but that's uh, that's very unfortunate. Fourth safety car in Division Six. Oh my God. <laughs> no. We've only actually had one in D2 here. <laughs> yeah, and there's a couple of guys who really need one right now. Oh, yellow and oh sector two. Nick's in the wall. This is I'm not been a nearest. really unfortunate race for the championship leader, but he, if he just finishes in 18th, it's better than no points. Yeah, 100%. Him and Saffron City have just... Yeah, they've just gone through the ringer today. Absolute, just been sprinting through the gauntlet and getting bounced down every time. Yeah, so, okay. I'm looking at the championship points structure here. 76 points for a win. A very odd number for a win, but let's go with it. But 18th is worth 20 points. So it's definitely not to be scoffed at just to finish a race, even if you're in such a low position. I mean, 19th is last year. If VTEC had been in the race, someone would have been getting 15 points. So, I mean, just showing up is very helpful. It says subtle but holes in the pit, but he's actually parked around turn three. Ah, the parking strategy. Yeah. Ah, Very interesting. interesting. Oh, he's going again. <laughs> he's decided he's been parked oh. long enough, and oh my god, what is happening? Murph and Sally just got. Murph and Sally, oh, gets okay, now Saddlebutt Hall is yeah. retired. Oh, I really hope that's not damaged. I don't know if he touched him or not. Fredhead's right on the back of Monkey Mafia here. And just like that, Neuronix picks up a few more points. Or five more points to be exact. So that's, I mean. Just staying in the race. Super helpful. You never know what could happen. Oh. Uh, that was actually a big battle for Constructors Championship there. As uh, Fredhead overtakes Monkey Mafia. And Alpha Romeo is only five points ahead of the Haas team. Chief Braids is in 11th right now. Um, nearly nine seconds back of Mopawa Cowboy. So Alfa Romeo is looking to get more points than Haas here and should be able to hold on to fifth in the Constructors' Championship. Uh, Alpine and Aston Martin are actually not separated by too much with the difference between those drivers. So you got Murph and Selly in ninth and Saffron City in 16th, A. Daltonian in fifth, High, High Tower Cowboy, or High Tower, High Tower Cowboy, what the heck, <laughs> Low Power Cowboy. That, that's actually a pretty cool name, not gonna lie. I better also watch out for the um, Red Bull team who have got one driver out of the race that we just saw, and they're in the championship lead, so they may face a bit of a, a, a loss of points, although <laughs> Tiger is in the lead of the race. It's kind of helpful. Uh, not sure what happened to Fusalm. He's, oh, he's out without a right... Yeah, he's without a right end plate. Oh, no, he's not. I lied. He's it's it. there. Yeah, that, that's why... I, yeah, I, it was just the way the camera angle sat. It was just flush with the ground that I couldn't tell. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, we've we got further yellow flags. So it's all being let through. Okay. Is that subtle but holes bot just continually driving around the track? It could be. It is. Can't get on board with it, unfortunately. No. Yeah, that, um, that could be super dangerous. The leaders are coming around right now. 130R. Yeah, he's just kind of he's just cruising. Oh my god. Fuse Elm. What is going on? Great game. <laughs> Great game, EA. Does <laughs> he pick up DRS? That'd be hilarious. Yeah. yeah. I know he does. Into the pits, though. Does is he, he... going to pit every lap? D okay, at least he came into the pit. Oh my god, let's have a look at the race to see how many pit stops it makes. So That's going to win. Three stops. Fred had six tenths. Er, actually, it looks like he might pass Nikki here. He gets a really good run. And yep, down into the inside of turn one, gets the job done, but goes deep through turn two. And Nikki just slots right back through and picks up sixth place with Fredhead coming in 
to turn two with a little bit too much heat. Oh, a bit of a wiggle there from the McLaren. The oh my god, he came out of the pit, Subtle But Hole's car came out of the pit. <laughs> oh my god. Get on board with Chief Braids here. We'll see where he parks the car this time. Oh, he's actually pulled off. Oh, thank god. He's actually pulled off onto the side. So after parking on turn three, going around the track entirely, pitting, coming out, <laughs> he decides to actually retire the car now. <laughs> The story of subtle but holes bought. Not an intelligent one, but an interesting one. So Nikki's really holding up uh, the Haas of Fredhead here. Those softs are uh, really helping Nikki's case here. We'll see how much he's able to save the tire wear. Of course, they're both making inroads into uh, Adeltonia in front as Nero Nix is now out, and that's no points. That's big, and that's a safety car. A safety Oh, my God. Where did he bin it? It looks like it's... Where is that? I can't tell which track that's on. No, oh, that's on uh, turn... turn 12. Oh, it's on, like, the run between... Yeah. Heffin and Spoon. Jumping on board with Forza Hubei might be helpful. Fredhead, AE, the Monkey Mafia, Murph Sully, and Mo Powell, Cowboy into the pit. Nikki stays out. Detail, fuse, the leader stay out. Who pitted that we were shaking our head with again? Murph well, is making another pit stop now. Oh my god. Well, I mean, anything he does is going to be a uh, advancement in points to the back of Nier and Nix at this rate. But Tiger Nazca might jump him as well. Let's have a look how close that is. Yeah, I mean, Tiger Nazca is well within range of jumping Murph. So it looks like... Fact, sorry, he might ahead, take the championship lead. Tiger Nazcar? Yeah, he's within range. Yeah. He's definitely Plus within Hedini range. Again. Hedini's last, but still in the race. Detail is up front. Oh, that's a what penalty, which could really hurt. So we're on lap 24. He, so 20. oh. I tell you what. Crash, it's going to be super painful for random series and detail here with penalties after the safety car. Okay, so it is 25. You need 25 laps to get points. He was at. Yeah. He was about a lap and a half away from. Uh, ah, into the points. pits. Random series will clear his penalty. This could be key. Fusel takes the, the race lead. Okay. We've got some serious racing detail here. What's detail doing? He's also pitting. Mm. But he can't get rid of his penalty, unfortunately. That's a three-second penalty. Oh my, okay. This is huge. Because the safety car is going to come around. Once the safety, the safety car is actually going to come in this lap. Because we're going to have lap 26 and 27. Yeah. So, the, we're going to see how many drivers are actually going to be able to catch up here. I don't think, I don't, any, any Daltonian uh, screw Maybe not everyone, but a decent amount of them. But. Yeah, they should be able to catch down to at least my power, if not Puff and uh, Forza Hoover. And as well, they have to clear Houdini. I'm not sure if you mentioned that, sorry, because Houdini is actually split between uh, Nikki and Fuse. Okay. Right, so who didn't pit there? They're just Fuse and Nikki. So, okay, so we got Fuse. There's so many different strategies here. Fuse on very old hards. Yeah. And Nikki on relatively. A little bit worn softs, then new softs for Tiger Nascar, random serious, who's cleared his penalties. Detail as well, but unfortunately, three seconds might scupper his chances of top five here. Then two laps to excel away from anyone else. Fredhead is now caught yeah. back up. Oh, God. Oh, man. Is... Eighth place, Fredhead. Okay, his so. His teammate runs in front of him. No, okay, him. so I actually I was going to mention that, but I've, I almost forgot that point. Chief Braids, as soon as. Fredhead came out of the pit. Chief Braids actually tried to let Fredhead through, but the the game told them, well, definitely told them to. Or for oh, I know how to do that. The you can do that. You just have to drive off the track to let him do that. Oh, uh, well. You should have DM'd Chief Braids here. But there we go. Safety car is going to come into the pit. I'm not He's... a Haas employee. Yeah, uh, <laughs> true. I think I was right about who's going to catch up with Mo Power, the last one in the pack. Puff Digital right. is just going to be screaming through 130R. 
but yeah, no, not gonna happen. Off goes through his Houdini. He's about to let through Nikki. Don't do it too early, boys. Otherwise, there'll be a brief. Oh, oh my whoa. god! Whoa! Nikki looks and like he's trying to get back on the slipstream. Might have a, a run here. Nikki's got to defend by swooping. He does swoop oh. and Tiger. Oh, he... under the grass. Random series going to try to switch him see. back. Oh, fuse. Oh, no, the Tiger comes back Random across. Oh. There goes the championship lead potentially for Tiger NASCAR. He goes oh. way down the track. And uh. It hurts to be hit by someone who's not even in your division. I guess it wasn't really Random's fault. There was already a uh, hit hitting the fan, as you say. Yeah. But now let's let's get a look for the lead. Nikki, if he can close down. He's got one attempt, really. He's got no DRS to do it, but his tires are soft. Can Nikki do it? Uh, you have a bat out of hell in sixth place right now, and he's gonna try. Oh, oh my God! Hell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna come down the inside line. Yeah, Russia. Oh, um, with a contact, and there goes Adel turning uh, into the wall. I I did see an an oversteer snap on AE there. I I looked like Fred had gave him room, but I don't. I'm not sure exactly. Fredhead's going to try and clear a random series. Detail. Nikki's closing the gap. It's beneath five tenths. This is the race for the lead. Oh, this is so close. Is this, this, oh my god, this might be Nikki's first ever win in once. Don't, don't say No, anything. don't curse the poor don't, man. Do don't, not curse the Don't form. say anything though, okay? Here we go. This is three tenths yeah, gap. Yeah, this is huge. He's Look at the got, traction. He's got it done. In the slipstream. Yeah, he pulls outside. He can send it around the outside. He's got to. Fuse Maybe blocks it deep. Oh, no. Fuse no. is really on the right line there. Very he well does done. a good job. It just goes to show you the difference in DRS there. Nikki was in this position th three seasons ago, all the way back in season one of the Midwest oh, F1 the League. And, uh, yeah, the non flashbacks are real. Fred had is in fifth and shouldn't be able to get past random series actually he could nikki's got detail behind who's got major major penalties major he's got penalties okay three seconds actually in, a, in this kind of case is major they're that for the exit nikki got to set up for the exit but here we okay, go okay maybe maybe after 130 into the chicane that's yeah. the best bet i'd say don't use all the ers oh, oh. he's getting very aggressive he's got so much more grip can you make anything work here? Oh, this is a really good run. This is a really good run. Here we go. We got a drag. Last time Fuse and Nikki were dragging was into turn one, and Fuse had the straight line speed. Maybe if he can force right, Fuse into a poor line. race now line. Yes. He has to make this work now. Switch back. Fuse has to give him the later space. The break, last three laps the of the oh, race. Oh, no. Not like this. No, and. Fuse splits in detail goes through. Random that Series is going to come over the line with the win. Fuse is in third. Fredhead gets himself back on the podium. Nikki all the way down to ninth. No. Eighth. No. Oh my god, what just I happened? I can't, man. I can't. This man's luck at Suzuka is just awful. What just happened? What just happened? What, I mean, they, I mean, do they think they're Prost and Senna with that sort of contact? Red Redhead, <laughs> only six tenths off the win in the end, in third place. Random series. So the Division 1 guys in the end take the cake. Detail unfortunate to have a three second penalty because he did cross the line first. Um, Fuse ends up second. Uh, who knows if there's going to be penalties involved? I cannot tell. Nikki leaves in disgust and I cannot blame them. Oh, Murph ends up seventh. In fact, the highest of the championship challenges by the end of the race. We're just going to pen uh, everyone to get Nikki the win. The, oh. What in the world? He held the lead for about three tenths of a second. <laughs> Who's this Aston Martin here that's got a watermelon helmet? Uh, well, I can't look. I can't look. That's so sad for him. Well, good job. Good job for Random. It was it was a it was a steady race from him. He uh he's got some good points from the Clarence down in Division Two, so that's uh good looks from him. Another Alpha on the podium as we can't go a bloody race without having one Alpha Romeo on the podium. And that's right, that's right. It's just what and 54 points for seventh for Mep and Sally will put him in the championship lead. So, yes. uh, that's something we should uh shout out before we go. Here, and Nick's unfortunate man, such a consistent season. We mentioned it, and we cursed the man too. <laughs> Had an awful race. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the uh, 
final order here. It's random serious putting the Swiss flag on top for the first time in quite a while. Uh, I think with you Fizale could, in second. You could probably say okay. the first time ever in Division Two history that the Swiss flags went on the podium. All right. Well, then we've got Fredhead and Detail making Canadians in third and fourth. Then a couple of uh, Americans. Chief Fred's actually up in P5, which is amazing after the first few laps he had. And Monkey Mafia there with a great run in sixth. Murph and Silly, as we mentioned, with a very key seventh place. And Nikki with the most unfortunate eighth place you've ever seen. Only 5.6 seconds off the win. Mo Power and Tiger Nazca round out the top ten. I'm very unfortunate for Tiger as well. Half Digital, Forza Hube, Adaltonian, Hightower, Sephron, all on the lead lap. Then it was Houdini down the lap, but finishing the race ahead of the uh, retirements, who were Nero Nix, uh, Subtle But Whole. <laughs> I've forgotten, I'm sorry. <laughs> Couldn't remember everyone. What a race. What was that? Okay, all right, we're back. I got the Division Driver 2 lineup up there for everyone to see. Um, and we'll get Chief Braids in here. And if not, then we'll we'll see if the Monkey Mafia wants to join in. We'll see. Insanity near the end is absolutely right, Murph and Sally. Nikki, if you're in chat, man, we'd like to bring you in, but I mean, I feel like you're going through a lot right now. <laughs> I don't want to get yeah, you to talk it, about your your funeral. I mean, I always want to talk to every driver about that race, like everyone involved in that calamity. I mean, Murph getting the championship lead. Tiger obviously had a great race, and then it got scuppered for him. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, oh my. A lot of a lot of anarchy to end this one. That's for sure. I mean, there's people who are livid in the chat. There might be some penalties, and this might all change. Yeah. Oh, I I, I agree. There's definitely going to be some uh, some. Uh, I mean, there was changes. a hell of a shoulder barge there on Adeltonian. <sighs> I I'm not sure. I like I said. I I I did see a snap of oversteer. Okay, so one person has said yes. Just waiting for, yeah. <laughs> waiting for everyone else. But man, that was just... That was crazy. Back-to-back -back weeks at Suzuka, man. Like, holy Christ. It's because the circuit is so low grip that everyone's either on edge or has a setup that's going to compromise their speed and they you know, those who are attacking get, get to them quicker. Um, you know, we'll take a... We'll, We'll take a moment here. We'll bring up uh, we'll bring up the track picture for Singapore, as uh, me and you, myself and yourself, will be back next week, uh, back in our Division One uh, position. As yes, you guessed it. We'll be in Singapore. Division One's break week is over, and uh, yeah. What's what's your take on uh, Singapore there, Jacko? How much are you looking forward oh. to that one? Singapore is my favorite track. Well, actually. Either second or first favorite track. In fact, it's the last track that I went to in real life for a Grand Prix 2019. Mm. Obviously, before COVID hit the fan. Oh, you saw Seb. Yeah, very unfortunate to see Seb win. I wanted Leclerc to win that. Leclerc. But, you know, Seb. Oh, come there on. That's it. That was his last win, but with Ferrari. Uh, no one likes Seb. Come on. Oh, zip come it. On. What? <laughs> Inspector Seb? Okay, he's funny. Doesn't mean I like him. 
He's funny. Anyway. He's a good human. He he picks up trash. Yes, he's a good human for crashing into Hamilton when he was a bit annoyed at Emmett Baku. <laughs> oh, okay, well Hamilton was a little bit of a penis there. <laughs> I mean, he's always a penis. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Anyhow, any any <laughs> whom as Singapore as we digress. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got plenty of good memories even in Midwest uh, with season one, division one. It was quite nice. Uh, mm, fair enough. Fair I enough. I think that was my first win in the. I know, because there was Division 2 before that. But yeah, it's a, it's a great track, and uh, I think it'll throw up interesting results again next week. Obviously, you'll probably see a few safety cars, a few wings flying. So, uh, some action. Yeah. I happen to have Intel on the top three of Division 4. And you might not surprise you to know who won. in it yep it's gin in first jonathan dunk in second oh my and hsv in third those poor d4 drivers wow. <laughs> those four yeah, guys 18 people what, and eight finish. <laughs> what? Oh, my oh my god ah all right okay well looks like we're might get a uh, monkey mafia in here I'm gonna, yeah, okay. Let me let me get up the interviews screen. Is he gonna come in? We'll just wait. I right, fill some fill some time. Um, what'd you have for breakfast before the stream, there, Jacko? I had some flatbread. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, I was in a bit of a rush, so I didn't have much on it. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, I actually but, uh, had yeah. I, I actually had breakfast for dinner today, so. Breakfast for dinner. You never have that. I mean, sometimes, but <laughs> not all the time. What What did you have? Well, pancakes, bacon, and eggs. Oh, that's acceptable for a dinner. Well, it's not typically a dinner. It's just. Well, that's acceptable. You give it a pass. A eggs Benny for dinner every now and then. Oh yeah. That's a good. That's a good breakfast for dinner. But yeah, cereal, just cereal, any time of the day. Really, what's your favorite type of cereal? Uh, Do they have cereal in Australia? Here. Yeah, we have cereal. I'm just kidding. Well, I, I don't have <laughs> in it. What do you think we are? Water? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> I had to. All I, right. I tend not to like cereal. But, you know, it's just it's you know what? I normal. I've kind of cereal'd myself out as well when I was a kid. I like Honey Nut Cheerios. That's just like it's consistent. It's good. I like honey. I like nuts. All right, let's get in the drivers. Oh, someone just left. Oh, whatever. Okay. Hello, everyone. Can we get a mic check? Mic check here. Hey. Okay, fuse. Monkey, mic check. Monkey. Fredhead. Could you guys hear Monkey in the other, the other chat? Was he talking? Uh, I don't think so. He wasn't talking at all. No. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully he just stepped away for a second. Okay, but anywho, there we go. We'll get up the interviews here. We've got uh, two of our podiums and two drivers that had pretty damn good races, uh, moving up quite a few positions, that being Chief Race and the Monkey Mafia. Um, I guess we'll start with uh, you, Mr. Fusealm. All the way, I mean, I guess you were up there all over the track, or um, from the beginning to the end, you were constantly up in the fight. And uh, still after that chaos, in the end there, came over with second place and random somehow scooted his way through for the win but I mean won't you tell us your thoughts before the safety car when you were on the hards and everyone else was on and uh, the two drivers ahead at the time which were random Sirius and Tiger NASCAR were on the mediums yeah so uh, they were about a couple of seconds in front and I think random Sirius at that point had a penalty mm -hmm. and I uh, I literally said five seconds before the safety car that I would take a safety car right about now. 
because it means that like, because there was like three laps to go and it means that I don't have to like push hard to like stay within range and there was enough the gap behind me as well and I was confident of not getting penalties. I, I don't think I had any warnings that race either so I was happy with uh, you know my performance in terms of penalties at least so I was like I can just stick behind them stay in DRS with whatever like stay within the RS range with whatever couple laps of racing we will have left and I would be happy with that, but I, obviously I didn't take into account the fact that everyone would pit for softs and I'd end up like right ahead of them. But mm. I knew that it's a you know difficult track to overtake at, so I it, I was expecting for there to be one full lap of racing. Instead, there was two, but I was surprised I was able to keep the lead right until the final chicane. Yeah, I mean. Uh... Nikki was all over you. Uh, crazy close yeah. battle in the end, and uh, I have to go back and watch the VOD on that one. It was really tight. Um, I'll quickly hand you to Jacko before I steal his question because I'm really good at that. <laughs> well, I think the obvious question there um, is to ask what's your take on that final chicane uh, collision? Was that um, a racing incident, perhaps, or what do you think? Uh, I would, I guess so, because I was just watching it back from my perspective just to make sure, you know, if I was at fault or not. But yeah, I think Nikki kind of does turn in. He tries to take an apex like I'm not there. I think if, if he would have just taken a slightly deeper line and like left a little bit of room on the apex, he had that. Like I, there was no way I was legitimately defending it on traction or on grip in any sense. I think he just got a little bit impatient and, you know, turned into me a little bit and cost us both uh, a couple of places, I guess. Well, many of places yeah. for him, only one for you, Yeah, really. many places for him, one for me, yeah. Yeah. yeah to be it's fair. pretty immature way of looking at it, uh, and um, that's that's also very instructional to anyone else. Don't don't immediately go into an interview without having watched the the, re the uh, replay. That's a very good pitch out by you to have done that. <laughs> So well, well yeah, done on yeah, the uh, I just wanted to see, just make sure uh, that, you know, if, if I was the one that, you know, sh if I should have yielded or something, like, I don't think I, 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 I it's not like I had, uh, he hadn't passed me completely before that corner, and, you know, I had the right to take the apex anyway. I was on the inside regardless, so, um, yeah. Well, re regardless of uh, who was at fault, it's definitely a good idea to have put the replay before you yeah. came in here. So, uh, well done once again, and uh, that's a lot of points for you. I think both times we've watched, you've uh, had a great race, so uh, well done once again. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we are uh, we seem to be uh, the Alfa Romeo good luck charm, so yeah, you're that's welcome. That's good, so just, just do every race from now on. Well, uh, when did I say we were back, Jack? I can pull it up quickly. Um, I think it's in two weeks. It um, is, no, actually we're back in we're back in Division the 2 in uh, at Monza. For October twenty eighth, I think that's uh, what I can squint and see. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see you on the podium then. Congratulations again. Yeah, thanks. All right, on to uh, third place here. Um, Fredhead, you, you there? Can you hear us, Fredhead? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, so you came down from Division One here. You seem to be a, a step ahead. You were absolutely on fire with your pace. You actually beat the this is a shout out to Jacko actually and I'll steal this uh, you actually beat the qualifying time for division one last week with uh, your time this week um, yeah I mean were you getting impatient on overtaking um, I mean you, you're getting through everyone did, did you just know that you're just way quicker than them so you just had to get through as soon as possible I mean you had no competition behind you and how, how did you spin there as well uh, well, I'm gonna be honest. I had like an extra uh, two to three tenths on the uh, on the quality lap there, uh, but I don't know. The first like stint went well. Uh, coming in after like pitting for mediums, I just I kind of went on an auto spin curb and then it just set me like set me around. So that's really happened from there. And then it was just kind of all calm. I had no traffic in front of me or behind me for like the next like you know seven eight laps and then uh safety car came out pit for softs and then try to overtake everyone i don't know when the first time that i pitted from from the softs to mediums I, everyone just i don't know they just felt slow like not not, not saying that in a bad way like like they were slow in a straight line for whatever reason and i i just couldn't understand it so i just put ers and just passed them i don't know and yeah 
and then coming in like the last like lap, lap 26 uh i hit an assin and i am so sorry for hitting that assin it was not my intention i had oversteer mid corner i was opposite lock by the time i corrected we were already crossing paths and i couldn't i couldn't do anything about it and then mm. yeah that was pretty much the race just try to stay behind and then watch a bit of a mess in the last lap in the last couple corners so i got lucky there yeah that's unfortunate i mean as they say uh racing isn't always fair and uh yeah but i mean you uh and i guess it was fair in your sense that you're able to get a podium though i mean had to barge your way through at times <laughs> i'm just no but you did you had a, ran a really good race you you were very quick today um off to singapore next will you be back in division one next week Ooh, 100 percent. my yeah. favorite track there you go oh you will now I'll, I'll hand you over to a guy that will also say that go ahead jacko yeah singapore definitely up there for me as well uh but what are you going to call for next week because uh, uh, i know you won there last season so do you think you might be able to back that up with another win uh we'll see i'll have to put a lot more practice uh because recently i've just been getting slammed with work like from like three to twelve shifts so i think now because i'm asking for more morning shifts i should be able to put more practice in so i will like i will this will be the only track i'll be racing on for like the next little bit oh okay well we'll see if you can repeat that success i think if that was to happen you might be the first ever person to win singapore twice all right yeah i mean it's uh it's there for the taking so hopefully you can get her done fred and uh well done again take it to mystic next week and uh yeah enjoy enjoy your weekend thank you all right uh i guess we'll go one second monkey is your is your mic working dude monkey hello let me let me just drag him over to waiting room monkey is your mic working uh, okay i can't hear him he must, must be still away uh okay chief braids you had uh, quite the roller coaster of a race. Um, oh, there you go. At one point, you were actually um, back at the pack um, in, I think it was well, nineteenth. But uh, yep. Man, uh, tell us a little. Tell, just tell us. Well, get us going on qualifying. How did qualifying go? And then we'll go through the rest of it. <laughs> well, I haven't gotten a lot of sim time lately, so my uh, my my pace has fallen off significantly on all tracks. So I pretty much. <laughs> Uh, quali or qualify somewhere between 15 and 20. That's just par par for the course now. So my objective is pretty much just to keep it slow and steady, and not have any incidents. And um, that's uh, that was my objective today. I had one little one little mishap in the uh, the turn coming out of the back straight or coming into the back straight. I uh, just caught a little bit of the, the grass and got a little sideways and. Um, so had some wing damage had to go in for uh, uh a new wing and i was fortunate that there was a safety car shortly after that so i was able to catch back up to the pack yeah i mean well i mean you kind of went through the whole thing right there <laughs> so, <laughs> no it was a good race for you man i mean all the way back up into a, a top five. Oh, it was top five right i think uh... I mean, five you or six. I'm not. I'm not sure. Was, yeah. yeah, you you kept yeah, your he, nose clean, right? So no. Oh, monkey, you're there. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, he was P5. I was right behind him. Okay, there you go. All right, so uh, you kept your nose clean because there might be some penalties. It's uh, there's a lot of chaos in the final couple turns there, so we'll see uh, what things will happen there. But uh, going to Singapore, I guess we'll give you that question as well. What's your uh, confidence level heading to in uh in there? You know, I like Singapore. Um. As long as I can do what I did today and keep <laughs> keep the wing off the walls, then uh, I'm hoping I can do well. But it's going to be the same situation. I'm going to qualify terrible and be at the back. So just hoping for chaos and I can just weave my way up. <laughs> that's 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 the plan. Okay, fair enough. I mean, it's it's definitely a fun one. Uh, I surely enjoy Singapore, especially when Seb went. But okay, off to you, Jacko. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, 
it, this really goes to show what you can do by just staying in the race. Uh, you can end up P5 after a couple of safety cars. So uh, how close were you exactly, Chief Reds, to, uh, to retirement when you had that issue coming on the spoon? Because I know there was a couple of cars behind that came very close to uh, making contact. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure from a... Uh, from what I could see, uh, it was uh, it was just yellow wing damage, so it wasn't anything terrible. Um, but yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> I think I had a close call with uh, Sephron. I think it might have been when I was trying to get going again. So uh, apologies, Sephron, if that was you. Oh yeah, I think we caught that. That was so close. <laughs> <laughs> we were actually chatting, so it's all good. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, well done. That's an incredible recovery especially from that, uh, that start, but that's what, it's what, what, you know, that's what can happen when you stick with it. Uh, so well done. Yeah. Thanks boys. And shout out to Monk, man. We had some, uh, we had some good, uh, battling going on there for a while, buddy. You almost had me there at the end. I thought I had you. I set it up perfect. Just did. <laughs> I needed, I needed like 20 more feet. <laughs> yeah. You would have had it. Good times, man. There you go. Definitely. Oh, we'll get on to monkey there. So, uh, won't you actually we'll take us through the last couple of those turns for uh, that battle between you and Chief? Because uh, we we didn't get uh, uh, we weren't on board for that. We'll have to catch the POV a, a little later. But yeah, what what take us through those last couple of turns in that battle? I was actually battling with him for about the last two laps, just chasing him, and then that last lap was just mayhem. It seemed like every corner I went around, there was cars sitting in the grass or out in the sand. And so I just tried to stay on him, but I had Mopawa right behind me too. So trying to hold my spot, but still battle Chief. And I knew I had him in that last chicane. And so I just tried to set it up and get a run on the outside. And when we came up to it, I saw a car sitting in the sand and was like, oh, that couldn't be good. But it worked out for me because honestly, I was garbage on pace today. So, Well, yeah, I mean, it's very consistent. You didn't really... There was times where it looked like you kind of were, like you said, struggling for pace, but I mean, still a top six finish. You kept your nose clean, avoided the chaos, just uh, drove an all around clean race, and the uh, Midwest F1 league proves it more than any other league that a uh, clean race will get you solid points. So, I mean, you proved that here today. Uh, now, what about how, how do you feel about your, the way that Division 2 is going for you right now? You're currently sitting in eighth. You might be able to you're going to close the gap to high tower and ae a little bit there as well as houdini do do you think a top five or even a potential promotion is uh is achievable for you i mean ultimately promotion is what you're looking at but I, that's going to be tough those guys up there consistently fast um you know they have one mistake but then the other three out of the four races they're beating me by a couple spots so i think it's going to come down to the end uh, top five would be nice my main goal is to be in the top half of the field in this um pace wise i'm probably in the bottom quarter of the field so <laughs> anywhere i can get in the top tens or they work for me and uh the last three have been good when i don't get caught up in other other crap i do pretty well well there you go consistency pays off um yeah your alpha team is doing really well like, oh, we got both Alpha drivers in here. I didn't even notice that. So yeah, uh, all around Alpha, Alpha glory here today. I guess we can call it. But yeah, I'll have I won't you lie though. Oh. About lap right before that first safety car came out, I was cussing at you guys. I was like, man, last time you guys calmed for us, I wrecked out, and it was a horrible race. And then I'm like, I'm so slow. I'm blaming these guys. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no. But then it worked out. So. <laughs> Jacko, don't 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 hint at them what happened and what we caught. Okay. You know, I'm going to. No, oh, okay, fine. We may or may not have witnessed some serious drifting there, by the way, monkey. <laughs> so take yeah, us like through that. I want the Reverse onboard and... from. I, I think it was subtle that was right behind me. I'd like to see his onboard because that was that was a hell of a drift. Yeah, I it was, was safe though. Yeah. Yeah, I was just. We didn't didn't lose it further up the track with like hot tires or anything. We just really nicely caught. <laughs> We'll see. I was watching Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift earlier, and I figured, you know, I might yeah. as well try. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, <laughs> God. I was hoping that got caught. Oh, it did. Yeah. Well, actually, I saw it. I don't know. If, um, no, I got it. I got a. I got as good of a view as you can get of it. Oh, good. I'm glad. 
so <laughs> yeah you can go back and check that one out but do you actually have a yeah, question definitely. for him jacko well i was going to ask him how that felt but you know you sort of answered that so. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah well done monkey well uh maybe we'll, we'll maybe we'll catch you in uh monza when we're back so best of luck until then oh great another track i suck at no. <laughs> <laughs> good to hear good to hear <laughs> Thanks for doing that, guys. No worries, man. No worries. Good to talk to you. All right. Yep, have a good night. Uh, we're going to put you guys out of the chat for now. If you want to chat after, then just stay in the waiting room. But, yeah. Okay, Jacko. That's, uh, yeah, that's all she wrote, I guess, for Japan. We did a double Japan yeah. this year. Um, I mean, both crazy races. Every race that we've been here in Division One has just been absolutely wild so i mean why? i mean by all accounts um every race at japan was wild i mean hearing this one that's still going apparently in uh what is it division three yeah. division four had eight finishes out of 18 starters so it's just completely madness oh my i mean yeah we're gonna look forward to singapore back with division one we'll see uh mystic joker doesn't have the best track record there so we'll uh we'll, well see Hang on, let's see. Does he have a win then? I think it's just Fred and I, isn't it? There was no race in season. Fred had got two. it, and then uh, yeah, you got it. Yeah. So uh, Mystic at a rare track where he's yet to have victory. <laughs> Intriguing. Okay, so uh, a little bit of a that's that's a that's a good um, a cliffhanger, I guess, as they call it. Yeah, you get, you get to have a win there until seven days' time. For, <laughs> foreshadow, um, <laughs> tease, you know, all the above. It'll it'll be a fun one in Singapore. I'm looking forward to it. It's a, it's a fun street circuit, and hopefully it stays in the F1 calendar. But we'll see. We'll see. Still many much to be decided. But uh, why don't you give us your final thoughts here, Jack, and I'll just uh, I'll call it an evening for us. Oh, my thoughts are, I just love commentating on Midwest, man. It's, it's, it's wild. No matter which division, no matter which track, it's just always something that's a, a, an absolute sight to behold and a, a privilege to be uh, in the booth with you. Yeah, I'm hoping none of those guys in Division 3 have any plans tonight because uh, they're probably still oh, going yeah. right now, those poor souls. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But anywho, uh, thank you everyone for tuning in. Very much appreciated. Have a good rest of your Thursday night. If you like what you saw, go check us out on YouTube. Do us a, a subscribe there, as well as a follow on Twitch. Um, Instagram and Twitter, both are bumping, so go check it out. Midwest F1 League, and both of those should pop up for you. Thank you again for tuning in. Hopefully we'll be seeing you next week, Wednesday, when we are back with Formula 2 as the break week is done. So you have yourself a good weekend, and yeah. I've been Crash McQueen. I've been of course joined by my friend Elma Jacko or Jacko for short. We've been the Midwest F1 League and good night. <laughs>